Ready? One. Good job. Ronan likes that popcorn. Nope, oh, and he saw somebody walking down the alley and he's gone. All right, I want to welcome you to this episode of BTR Outdoors. On this episode, we are sitting out in our backyard and we are going to show you how to cook three different types of popcorn in the chimney. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's get going. Okay, the first popcorn that we're going to cook um, on the chimney is just your old fashioned Jiffy popcorn. Super easy. We'll take this uh, cardboard piece off. All right, what I'm gonna use to cook this so I don't burn my hands is I have this little hot dog stick used to cook hot dogs in the chimney. And it fits perfect to cook our popcorn. All right, so we're just gonna put it over the fire and see what happens. Ever since I cooked popcorn in one of these. It's always my favorite popcorn. I think the key is to keep it moving, if I'm thinking right. Once it starts popping for sure, but yeah, maybe. Remember how long it usually takes? No. Depends on, I guess, how hot it is. Mm -hmm. All right, I hear something going on. Oh, <laughs> I think it's about to take out. Once it start popping, just keep it moving. or something. Okay. I think it's done. You're gonna burn it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I guess I can put it on top of that, huh? Here, let me put it on your trivet. Oh, sorry, I wasn't. <laughs> I was trying to film that. And... Right. There you go. Our first chimney uh, popcorn using the Ooh. Jiffy Pop. Here, let me... Not bad. It's not burnt, so that's good. <laughs> I was kind of getting worried about that. Alright, let's try another uh, way of popping. We'll get the fire going back and we'll show you an another way you can do it. Okay, our second way to cook the popcorn is going to be using a small saucepan. We're going to be adding some popping oil. And you only need just a little bit because we're not going to have very much popcorn in here to make a big thing. So maybe 
two teaspoons, tablespoons maybe. Just enough to coat the bottom you're going to. Okay. Then we're going to take just some regular popcorn. Get that opened. And Make more. Yeah, just a little bit. So we're not trying to make a bunch. Okay. So we have popcorn and oil on there. You have to have a lid on it when you're cooking it. Well, it just helps keep it to stay in. So I brought a lid out. Okay. I mean, once it starts popping, it could pop out. But we can try it either way. Okay. No, we'll try it with the lid. And as soon as we get the fire going, we'll pop it some popcorn. Okay. All right, we got our fire going. And we'll just some, I'll put some more bricks in there so I can just set it right on top. And once it starts popping, I'll start uh, shaking it, kind of like, uh, just like the Jiffy Pop. We had a little bit of rain last night, so my wood's a little bit damp, not bad. But the big thing is just uh, sitting outside, enjoying the cool weather for now, having some popcorn. Can't beat it. My wife cooks uh, popcorn like this uh, on the stove, and it is some pretty good popcorn. Are you able to shake it around? I just didn't know if you could or not. Yeah. I know the light's horrible, but... There it goes. Let's have a little bit of popping. You can see it. Yeah, it's going pretty good. <laughs> Still popping. Oh man. Do it again, sorry. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> That's good stuff. Wish we had some little powder to sprinkle on it. Put that on it too. You can cook with it and top it. And I guess it makes it buttery, I'm not sure. It's better than the Jiffy Pop. That's pretty good. I think you did perfect with it not getting burnt. Yeah. I mean, not that that other one did, but... I wish I had smell-o-vision. <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell of popcorn. Alright, we'll get the... We'll check the fire and we'll show you the last way you can cook some uh, popcorn on the chimney. Okay, the last way we used to do when we went camping, take some heavy duty tin foil, I just fold it in half, and then you're just gonna make a, like a bowl.
Then what you're gonna do is pour just a little bit of oil in here and get it open. Don't take much. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And this is the Orville Rimbacher popping topping oil. So it's for popping and you can put it on top of your popcorn. And we'll take some of these popcorn. is just showing you how we do it and this is the uh, Jolly Time yellow popcorn and you'll just want to close this up the best you can take your little popcorn rod which I might use a different one I think it'd be easier. Just kind of wrap the tin foil around it. All right, and we'll just put it over the the fire. Of course, if you don't make more, you would want the uh, little pocket to be a little bit bigger. But you can use a stick or anything. It's laid on top of your fire and your chimney or a campfire. for it to start popping. This is what I also add to my popcorn. I don't know if this is everywhere. It's definitely here in Texas, but it's very good popcorn salt. Mm. Thought I heard a pop. sometimes it's hard to regulate the temperature in this chimney especially if you're using it to cook this takes practice and patience all right let's take a look at it Pull it out a little bit early. I did pop though. Yeah, but there's a lot of unpopped. Yeah. But that gives you the uh, idea. Yeah. Of what you need to do. Still pretty oily. Well, probably could have used a little bit more oil in there. But. Tastes just like the other ones. 
Um, my fire's starting to die down, so I should have left on there just a little bit, but that gives you an idea. The three different ways that you can cook popcorn in your chimney or when you're camping. All right, I want to thank you for watching this episode of BTR Outdoors and hope you enjoy the uh, popcorn. Uh, we love messing with our chimney. We love cooking in our chimney. And it's just nice to be outside and just enjoy the weather before it gets real hot. But if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, if you're new, please subscribe. I think we hit 900 today. I could be wrong on that, but I think we're one away from 900 if we haven't hit it. So I just want to say thank you. And until the next episode, we'll catch you later. I got one. <laughs>